I don't have kids, but I assume that the pride you get when your kid hits his first home run or something should be about the pride I'm feeling right now. This is a DHL package, and it is unopened, aside from the uh, little envelope thing here, customs information. So what I'm about to open... Oh, so I ended up getting the circuit boards made at JLC. Um, yeah, they're... Prototype PCBs for two bucks is sort of true. It is two dollars for your first order, and you get ten dollars off the express shipping, and then you get coupons for other things. So your first order will be cheap, but um, I don't know about the rest. I'll keep you posted because um, if I'm happy with this, I may actually use them again. I don't know. They're not sponsoring me, so nothing's guaranteed. Um, yeah, this came really quick, about five business days, I think, after I ordered. Just look, oh my god. So a nice uh, JLC, I guess, ruler with a Fresnel or Fresnel lens for um, looking up close. And here it is. Ooh, it's like vacuum sealed. That's impressive. So uh, I, I haven't panelized these. I actually just, um, well, you know, if you watched, you know you know what I did. I just made the, the same design multiple times on the same board. And so I could cut them myself. Not sure how that's gonna work out, but we will see. Wow. So, any of my reactions here, by the way, have uh, maybe nothing to do with JLC, but they have everything to do with the pride I feel that something I designed came all the way here to Canada from China. Oh my god. So yeah, five boards, six of these, so uh, six on each board, so 30 boards. That is pretty cool. I don't know how I'm going to chop them apart yet. I'm going to try to score them and snap them. But holy crap. All right, enough talk. Let's take a closer look at this. So here are the boards. Um, keep in mind, these things are absolutely tiny. And uh, I don't have a banana to show you the scale, but I do have, uh, I guess, the scale that uh, came with it. Um, so th these are centimeters here, so not inches. So you can tell uh, these things are absolutely tiny. Look at that. Look at the detail. The silk screening looks absolutely perfect. I'm not sure if my components will fit on yet, but I mean, it, if anything, that's my own fault. Look at that. Simple electronics, that is uh, I. Thank you for your support from you guys. And a huge thanks. All right, come on. A huge thanks to my patrons. So uh, at the time of recording, I have two patrons. You guys know who you are, and I thank you very much for your support. But yeah, this is incredible. So they actually did a very good job. I would say, uh, yeah, it's uh, very much so more than acceptable. Um, only thing to do now is to get some components out, see if they fit, because if they don't fit, then this is going nowhere. And then solder one up, or I, I guess I should practice cutting them. Man, I'm like so giddy, I'm all over the place. So I just have a small smattering of the components that I picked and already I see a mistake in these boards. Um, I thought my potentiometers would have 0.1 inch pin spacing, but they don't. They have 0.2 inch pin spacing. So already that's not going to fit. And mind you, that's not JLC's fault. That's uh, <laughs> 
that's this guy's fault. I'm the one who designed it. Um, let's see, 0.1 inch pin spacing is fine for the MOSFET. It'll sit a little high, but that's okay. Plenty of space for that, so that's good. Um, I wasn't quite sure, I kind of measured this um, cap physically, but it looks like it fits perfectly. So the cap fits, and again, I thought these, this pin spacing was 0.1, but it's not. Oh, actually, ha, the library worked perfectly. So these uh, terminals will fit absolutely perfectly. And you look, this one here is tight to the uh, 0.1 microfarad. It's tight to the um, to this terminal block, but that's okay. That's all right because you solder this one first, or you know, if it sticks up or down, it's okay. Uh, so the, here I've got a resistor. So really, my only problem right now is the potentiometer, and that kind of sucks because I ordered a lot of potentiometers to fulfill these boards. Yeah, the resistors are perfect. No problem with that. The um, diode might be a little tight, but it should fit. Let's see, like this. Yeah, yeah, actually it's perfect. It's not even a little tight. Got our little caps here. Damn, I can't believe I goofed on the potentiometers because I thought, oh yeah, it fits a breadboard, so it must be 0.1 inch. But actually, it, uh, <laughs> yeah, it fits a breadboard, but every second hole, not every hole. So that's a little disappointing. And then there's the triple five timer. I believe this is one. Triple five timer should be. It's a little hard to fit these in. Yeah, the triple five timer fits perfectly. So basically everything is good except for the potentiometer. I'm very disappointed in that actually. I don't know why, well, no, I know exactly why I didn't notice. It's because it was too, uh, it was too small really for me to make heads and tails of it. I should have printed it out and tried out the components or just even went back and measured this. So I'm pretty disappointed in myself, but let's move on anyways and uh, trim these boards up. So as for trimming these, well, usually you use some sort of, um, some sort of saw or maybe a Dremel, It'd be really easy, like some sort of grinding type way to cut. But I have seen one YouTube video a long time ago where they actually used a box cutter and um, scored the edges and then snapped it apart. So I'm going to give that a shot. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that um, I messed up the layout here because I am planning on sending these out to my Patreons. Uh, so, and a couple of friends of mine too. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if uh, this can be salvaged, but uh, yeah, basically for cutting, I'm gonna give this a shot. Score and cut, or score and kind of break away. So brand new knife, brand new blade in this knife. Hold the ruler steady. Just gonna lightly, just ever so lightly, give this a cut. Okay, I'm going to go over that same line a few times now. And once I've made a reasonable indent in it, see, you can go harder and harder. There we go. So I think I made a reasonable dent in it. Um, should I try? I'm going to gonna make a reasonable dent on the other side too. And then I'm going to try snapping it. No guarantees this will work. 
And to be clear, GLC has a a way to penalize these things. I just um, I heard sometimes that it could be a pain in the butt. And really, for my first time, I just wanted to see what would happen. Sort of what is the worst case scenario type thing. But uh, let's see if we can snap it now. I'll move this knife out of my range. Oh, that's very tough. I don't actually know if I'll be able to snap it. 1.6 millimeters thick, this board. So it's not like it's lightweight. Just keeping that knife in that groove. I have other methods I can try as well. I can try um, using um, something like a jigsaw. Actually, you can hand cut it with a metal cutting saw. But I'm just seeing if this works. All right. Oh boy. This is actually a lot uh, more solid, more rigid than I thought. So the, what I saw is they actually had it in a vise and they snapped it off on the vise. Don't know if that'll work. Don't want to damage my poor babies, but then again, you know, I have 30 of these. Come on. Ugh. That actually worked. Let's see if it damaged the other boards. Nope. Nope, that actually does work. You can do that. It's very time consuming. But uh, yeah, if I didn't have any extra time, I probably wouldn't do YouTube, to be quite honest. Just going to repeat this process again. pressing quite a bit harder now to see if I can get that loose faster. You can feel when you're on that silk, the um, not the silk screen, but the uh, solder mask because it's slick. But as soon as you get down to the fiberglass, you feel those glass fibers rubbing up against the knife. So that did that, that scored it. Let's see if it uh, breaks now. Much more leverage this way. Oh, come on. Nope, oh, that didn't sound right. Something sounded like it snapped, but I don't think it snapped at the right spot. Fiberglass is extremely tough composite uh, construction. There we go. If you do give it enough sort of uh, force, it will break apart. 
So this is a valid way to cut them. If you're a bit more patient, and for example are not making a YouTube video where you should hurry it along, this is a good way to do it. And uh, to prove that these are okay, I'm actually going to build this one. 